It is a truth of data science that the results of any model depend on the validity and accuracy of the input. As the maxim goes, garbage in, garbage out. A question uppermost in voters' minds these days is whether or not the presidential tracking polls are trustworthy, or if they are actually just so many useless models. After all, the polls in the 2016 election were completely wrong about Hillary Clinton's lead over Donald Trump, and they grossly miscalculated the amount of support the Democrats actually had. Despite the polling industry's attempts to avoid a repeat of their failure in 2016, polls for the 2020 election were even more inaccurate. Josh Clinton, the chair of the American Association for the Public Opinion Research Task Force on 2020 pre-election polling, conceded in an interview with Pew Research that, quote, Despite the polls accurately pointing to a Biden victory, the polling error was the highest in 40 years for the national popular vote and the highest in at least 20 years for state-level estimates of the vote in presidential, senatorial, and gubernatorial contests. The failure of the pollsters is causing anxiety for both the right and the left. Gillard Edelman in The Atlantic opines the fact that Democrats cannot trust that the slim lead Kamala Harris appears to have is actually real. Many of them don't even believe it. He writes, quote, according to the New York Times in the run up to Election Day in 2020, Biden led by 10 points in Wisconsin, but won it by less than one point. He led Michigan by eight and won by three. He led in Pennsylvania by five and won by one. Even though some polls give Harris a slight lead over Trump, her lead is much less than Biden's was in polling in 2020. Edelman, a Harris supporter, writes that, quote, a 2020 size error would mean that Harris is actually down and poised to lose the Electoral College. The fear that Harris's numbers are inflated is warranted because she is running against Donald Trump, whose poll numbers never seem to match his true level of support amongst voters. Keep in mind that the pollster's historic failure in 2020 was unexpected because the 2018 polls for the midterm elections hit the mark successfully. Josh Clinton states that the difference in accuracy is no doubt something specific to races involving Donald Trump. 